Welcome everyone to my tutorial for reporting characters from WWE 2K15 to WWE 2K17. Uh, specifically today we're going to be porting Kane Retro, that's Kane from 2002 from 2K15 over to 2K17. Um, I picked Kane for uh, a couple of reasons. One, you know, there's already an existing Kane in 2K17. Uh, two, there was a request on my YouTube channel for this specific attire. And then three, um, I wanted to show you how to get around the lack of animation of hair uh, when you pour things from 2K15 to 2K17 for any character that already exists with a similar hairstyle. So um, with that said, we'll go ahead and get started. So. Um, the first thing you want to do is um, go ahead and get the files from 2K15. So you might want to say, well, how do I know what files to get? Well, um, I have the sheets here for uh, Made by Possum that he has go ahead, went ahead and basically gotten all the ID. So right here, this is the column we're going to be looking at, the pack column. And we want to go ahead and look for Kane Retro. And there he is. Kane Retro. This is the attire we're going to be looking at. So this is attire 348. So what we're going to do is go ahead and open up Explorer here. Let's see, I have 2K17 bookmarked. So as you can see, we went to C, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common. We'll go to 2K15, get a pack. CH for character, and we we're going to go to CH348. Here is Kane. We're going to go ahead and copy that. And I have a folder on my desktop called Work in Progress. Here are all my different projects that I'm working on at the time. We'll create a new folder. We'll call it Kano2 Work in Progress. So we'll go to K15. And we'll jump that bad boy in there. And now we want to grab the 2K17 version of Kane, which I already have set up here. And that is the 107. So I'm going to go back here, go to our shortcut, pack. So I'm in the 2K17 folder, pack, CH. We're going to go to 107. And you can see there's two versions of 107 here. One, uh, the one that is in 02. Zero 02, um, that means the first attire um, in ring. Um, 04, as you can see, the one above it. 04 would be an entrance attire, but since Kane wears the same thing in both his entrance and in ring, there is no 04. So 02 is the first attire, which is um, his mast attire, which also has a similar hairstyle from the one in the retro. And then there's the 1-2, which we're not going to be messing with today. But that's his corporate attire, which is his bald look. So we're going to go ahead and grab this one. We're going to put that in here. We're going to call this 2K17. Drop that in there. Okay, so that's all we're going to do here. So now we have these two files that we're going to be doing. We're also going to create a new folder called Work in Progress. You can call it whatever you want, just that's how I keep things organized. So the first thing we need to do is extract these two files. So the program I use for that is called Pack Editor. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and open up that folder. So what I did here was I copied this path as fast as way I do it. Press enter. Here we go. We're just going to go ahead and open up the first one. This is here. Uh, this is the 2K15 file. Go ahead and hit mass extract. This is a quick way to do this. Go ahead and highlight the root here. Go hit OK. And basically what this is going to do is extract both files and everything down to the lowest level. So go ahead and close that. So I'm going to go in here. We'll drill down. Go in here. You'll see that file. And you'll see all of these files. What are all of this? So these are all the files. Normally they're in a compressed format called Zlib, but since we did that mass extract, it not only extracted the Zlibs, but then it took another level and extracted what was in the Zlibs. 
So what I like to do to clean this up is sort by type and I'll go ahead and get rid of all these Zlibs. Okay. Um, and then we'll go back, go in here, 2K17. So this format's a little encrypted, but Pack Editor was able to go in and do the same thing here. We have all the files that we need. All right. So what are all these files, right? I'll give you a quick summary. So the 00, zero is the objects. That's where basically everything is as far as what makes the model. I'll show you what that means in this program called X-Ray. I'll do a control N and let me get that path. Okay. So I'll show you what the 00, zero looks like. And this is where we can see Kane. This is 2K17 Kane. As you can see the attire is this 2K17 attire. But let me show you the 2K15 version of that. This is the attire we're going for, right? See, as you can see, the little marks and the mask is different. So this is the one we're going for. So that would be what the zero zeros is. And um, the other file we're interested in is the 2715. So let me show you uh, for the 2K15 version of Kane. We are going to go ahead and look at the hair, right? But this hair will not have animation in 2K17. Um, they changed the way they did animation as we went along in the games. So this is not the hair we're going to be using. But his hair in 2K17 for this attire is pretty similar. And it has animation. And these are the animated areas. So as you can see, this is what we're going to be using. Um, some of the other files that we might be interested in are the 0A. That is where all your attire textures um, elbow pads, so on and so on. This is where all of those are stored. And then the zero C is where the facial textures are and the body core, the, the core body textures under the attire. Um, some other notable files, the 2580 is our animation files. And then the CE is kind of um, where you uh, prevents clipping and uh, other masking features that are needed. So um, if you look at the 2K15 structure, there's a lot of other files in here. So we can't just straight up pack this one and just port it over. Uh, we'll have some problems probably crashing mainly because of these files that don't exist anymore in the game. So Let's grab the ones that we absolutely need. We're gonna need the, the model. We're gonna need the textures for the tire and then we'll need the face and so on. So, and then we'll also need this, the masking. So we'll go ahead and control C there. I'm gonna paste those into our work in progress. We're gonna to go to the 2K17, which is a really close comparison of what he is. We're going to grab all the rest of the files. I'm going to skip two and explain those in a second. So this is basically all the files that we didn't get in the other one. I'm going to do control C there. Go back here. I'm going to paste. All right. And we're going to also, I'm going to go back to these two files. So this, once again, this is our animation file and this is our hair file. Do a control C there and we're gonna paste there. So now we have almost all the files that we need. Um, and just as a measure to make sure everything looks good, I like to use an application called bulk rename. And let's see. And what, and I, I already have this preset, but it basically adds two zeros. And what I do here is I'll go ahead and click all of these and it's going to add those two zeros and basically what this does is puts it in the hex format a little easier for me not necessary but it makes it look better so there we go we got all those and now so how do we make those into file like that or 
or, or a file like that, right? So what we do need to do is put these into a pack file. So we're going to open a program called xpacker. We're going to do control P, create a new pack. Ignore the word texture there as a typo. Uh, it's actually create a pack. So we're going to our work in progress. We'll go ahead and highlight all of these. Hit open. And you can see here, and this is a very important step that people forget. You have to click sort by name. And what that does is puts everything in order by hex. If you don't do that, your guy's gonna come out looking really weird. Yeah, everyone's done it, so just trying to help people out here. You're gonna do create pack archive. And I'll go ahead and put that in the root. And we're gonna give it a name. So what would you name this? Um, so the file, if you look at the 2K17, so remember, this is the first attire. 10702 is the first attire. Remember, he has a second attire, the corporate cane, which is ending in 12. So we want to create uh, 22, which would be the third attire. Not necessary, you can replace any one that you want, but I'm just trying to keep them in order so we don't override any of the old ones. So we'll go ahead and make this. Uh, we want to add three zeros. I'll explain that in a little bit. We'll do it 0, 22. And you can see here, it's building the pack for us. All right, created successfully. And exit out, and we won't look at it. Here we go, so 64 megs. This says quite a bit. Uh, there is a cap for 2K17 of 80, but what we can do is compress that. So what I like to do is open pack editor. Now, I'm just showing you guys the way I do things. There are different ways to do everything. And this is just the way I do things. So let's copy that path. Um, it's in this. Yeah, let's go ahead and rename that. Okay, go ahead and open it. And as you can see, we can see the contents of the pack. So what we want to do is highlight each file. It's, it's a little tedious, but we're going to go ahead and highlight one. We're going to hit inject zlib. Work in progress. You want to find that file that we just selected. And what it does is it compresses it. And then we're going to go to the next one. Compresses that one. And we're going to keep going. Now that we've compressed all of them, look at that file size. Now it is a 35 meg file. Go ahead and erase the backup there. Close that. But now we have to get it to the other format. So um, w what I like to do here is grab a 2K16 um, pack because of that pack is in the format that we need. So we'll go over 2K16 pack CH and we'll just go ahead and choose retro cane, which is 138. It doesn't really matter. We can pick any of these paste and what we're going to do here is make it to the file that we need so we'll do 107 since we're going with the third attire it's 22 but that doesn't make it work so what we need to do is open a program called hex editor any hex editor will work I use hex XD go ahead and click and drag that over and we'll see the file format that we need here EPK scroll down you'll see this EMD and the file that we need right so remember those three zeros it's right here listed and we need to change that to this number so what we want to do is make sure we highlight here do not space or backspace in here you have to type over if you backspace just close out and start over because you will mess up the entire thing but we want to type over. We're going to type in 10722. Okay. And go ahead and save changes. Bam. Now we want to open Pack Editor. Okay. And open that new uh, CH file we just created. Okay. We want to highlight the file. And we'll go to Inject. We're going to inject the retro cane pack that we built file injection complete okay, 
Okay, we'll go ahead and close pack editor. Go ahead and delete our backup. We have our completed pack. Do a control C. Gonna go ahead and open up our 2K17 folder pack. CH, we're going to paste it in here. And look, we have three canes now. Remember, this is the original, this is corporate, and this is our new retro 2002 cane. So, before we can go any further, we have to make sure that the attire is selectable. So, we're going to go ahead and open up Data Editor. We're going to go to Tools at the top. We're going to go to Universal Alternative Attire Unlocker. And if you haven't done this, you want to hit install, but I have. Okay, and Kane is right here, number three. We're going to select three. Okay. And save. All right. Now we'll go ahead and open 2K17. Coming your way next. Gonna be good. We have Kane against Roman Reigns. Oh, you can feel the excitement. And there the he is. Contest is scheduled for one fall, making we have our retro 2002 Kane in 2K17 with animated hair. Oh boy, we're in for a treat tonight. Both of these superstars look geared up ready to yep, go. He has the Which attire, he has the gloves, he has the mask. As this one gets underway in mere moments. There we go. We've got the cane we wanted. So, that will conclude this tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments and um, hopefully be posting some other tutorials. Thanks for watching.